Hey there guys, Neil here, back with an app review. So some time ago, Reddit uh, released their official app for iOS, and um, recently, within the past approximately a week or so, they released the official version for Android. I believe it was in beta for a while before that, but now that it's available for everybody, I thought I'd give it a review. So uh, with that, I'll jump right into the app itself. Um, the app for An the Reddit app for Android follows the material design UI very well. So you can swipe from um, left to right. You can you slide up and down, pull to refresh. You have your overflow menu, search. So your usual elements, um, as well as creating a new post. So everything fits well within the modern UI um, and the Android UI guidelines. Um, from the screenshots I saw for the iOS version, I believe it's the same thing. They follow the iOS guidelines very well. So it's a very native looking and feeling app and it operates not too much differently than what you would expect. So with that, I'll jump right into the um, app itself. So uh, to start it off, if you want to access things like your profile and settings, you'll touch the overflow menu at the top right. And then hitting profile, you'll see your Reddit karma, um, how long you've been a member, your history, uh, saved items, posts, comments, things like that. Um, in the sort uh, menu, you can set by default what topics you see automatically. So whether it's what's hot, new, top uh, items, things like that. So um, basically, you can customize what items you see when you load the app. Um, you can also switch between card view and compact view. So this is a card view. You get a big image if available and um, sort of separated by little divider. So kind of like a Google Now kind of look and feel. The compact view, what you saw earlier, is basically your thumbnail image and the post information and things like that. And then your settings allows you to switch users, log out, switch between day and night mode. Um, and simple things like that so nothing too complex or difficult um, if you need to set the setting that you're over 18 then there's that blurring NSFW images and um, that sort of thing so nothing too spectacular but settings you would expect um, touching the reddit icon at the top left or swiping from right to left gives you your menu so as you can see you can, it has easy access to what your front page is um, all items that you're or all groups that you're a part of and then as well as a, and then a breakdown of what um, subscriptions you have that you're actually subscribed to so if you want to switch to a particular one you can do that so um, that's pretty much all there is for that and then touching the my subscriptions collapses that menu to uh, easily scroll through the different items and then you can also switch to uh, communities that you're moderating the settings menu here takes you to the same settings menu that you saw earlier. So if you prefer that route, then there is that. Um, adding a community is actually pretty straightforward. Um, as far as I know, I don't know this for sure, but I guess it does not like spaces. So let's say I wanted to look for an iOS community, then I can do a quick search. Um, and then I get all the articles that are part of iOS specifically, and then I can subscribe to it. I can see any public posts. Um, if I want to... Um, let's say I want to look at a find a Marvel group or there's a Marvel group that I like then I can do a search for Marvel and um, there's that as well so um, that's really all there is for that um, hitting the plus sign right here at the top right will allow you to subscribe you can do pull to refresh so if you loaded the app and you've been reading for a while you want to see if anything new comes in then you can do that as well um, hitting the plus button straightforward you can post images to text links things like that so if there's something you want to post to a reddit community that you're a part of then you can do that on the go just as easily now as well so that is actually all there is for the app there's not too much to it um, you get your community that you're a part of you can see all um, items what's hot um, uh, subscribe to new one groups, post things. Um, and so it's a basic um, mobile version of the Reddit website. And if you log in with the same account that you log into on the website, then um, your existing communities that you're part of will carry over. So it all stays in sync that way as well. So that's the official um, Reddit app for Android. Uh, same thing for iOS. So just look for um, official Reddit app or Reddit and you'll see that it's Reddit, the official app by Reddit Inc. Um, and uh, you get the screenshots, ratings, things like that. But it is a free app, so you 
will actually not cost you any money either so that's an additional benefit um, there not that it costs you money to use it to begin with but in case you're wondering about using their app there is that so um, that is actually all there is for that so um, if you have any questions comments concerns something didn't make sense or anything like that you can always email me at headphones at yahoo.com or find me on twitter at the tell in zero one but that is all for this particular review thanks for watching and listening and until next time